going to learn how to create a full book using Grok. We are going to use an open source project called Grok Book and we're going to collect the API key from Grok Cloud or Grok Console and then we're going to go to this streamlit application and create this entire book. I've created a simple book and that is about 17,000 words. Now the idea of this is not for you to create spam and then spoil the internet but for you to understand how it is meaningfully fast for you to create a book if you use a system like Grok. You need your Grok API key. How do you get the Grok API key? All you have to do is go to Grok and click Grok console.grok.com slash keys. Once you go there, you have an option to create an API key and you can just give anything, whatever you want. Like for example, I can just say one little coder and it is going to create a key. After you create a key, copy the key and go back to your Streamlit application and paste the key. So after you paste the key, all you have to do is you have to specify what book that you want. For example, in this case, I can just say Dune um, in the style of a Star Wars but for Indian context. So read the book. And as you can see here, generating book title and structure in background. So ancient sands of Bharat. At this point, we are talking about 1245.87 tokens per second. And it has so far managed to create a 13,000 tokens. And all it took was 11 seconds. That's quite interesting. End generation and you can click download PDF and that will download the book for you. So I can open the book here and you can see that the book has been officially created for you. I'm not sure. Oh, it has, it has even created an epilogue. Okay. That is, that is, that is quite interesting. That is quite interesting to see. It is all it takes for you to go here and create a 33 pages book. So let's see how many uh, words that we have got. I'm going to copy this here, go back to the word counter, paste it and then check. We have got 10,000 words. So all it took was a very few seconds. In fact, exactly 11 seconds for us to create this book. In this case, this is a fiction book. Like it's, it's a story. It's not a technical book. And it has created, um, you know, Rajput kingdoms and all the things that you hear uh, in India. I'm not very familiar with these kind of stuff because I'm from South India where we have totally different stories. But anyways, the point here is that you can create book. I'm not trying to teach you Indian diversity. So now if you have reached this point. I want to quickly recap whatever we have done. The first thing is we are using an open source project called Grokbook. Second, Grokbook is hosted on Streamlit. So there is a Streamlit application. You can just directly click this. Once you click this, it will open this beautiful little application where you have to go add uh, your Grok API key, then the book title and any additional instructions that you have got. The, even the book title that you add, it's not going to just literally use the same thing as title. It's going to just use that as what is a book about and then it will create its own title. After you do this thing, uh, you can just click generate and it will generate the book. But how do you do this? You need the Grok API key. Where do you go get the Grok API key? Go to console.grok.com slash keys and that is a place where you have the key. Copy the key, come back to the Streamlit application, paste the key and then just mention what you want the book to be about. Like for example, I can go ahead and then say, uh, Let's try the same thing. Dune in the style of Star Wars, but set in China. Um, generate. At this point, it's going to generate the book title and also it's going to generate the book, uh, the entire book. So what is the title? The, the Silk Road Rebellion and a tale of ancient Chinese sandworms and imperial intrigue. And then as you can see here, it is generating the book. At this point, we have hit 11,000 tokens. It's done end generation and download the book, download the PDF. You can download whatever you want. I've downloaded the PDF and I've opened the book and the book is available here. So it has, it comes with conclusion. I can copy the entire thing and I can just go here and then test it if you want like word, word count. So we have got 9,400 words and all it took us 11 seconds. That's it. Like we did not cross either even 11 seconds. And if you want to do this locally, then they've got instructions. I'm going to take you through that. So at this point, if you're completely fine with this, you can go ahead with this. But if you want to do this locally, all you have to do is first, you have to duplicate this repository. So all you have to go ahead and do this is copy the repository, clone the repository. How do you clone it? You open the repo here, click here, and then you get the cloning option. And uh, you can just click this, copy, copy this path, open your terminal, your favorite terminal, git clone, and then select this and clone it. Once you clone it, 
you are inside you cloned grok book cd grok book and you have gone inside grok book uh, these are the applications that you have got the next thing that you have to do is you have to export the api key so export grok underscore api key is equal to let's do oops my bad in this case i've got the api key already i guess uh, so probably i don't have to do it but uh, just to show you let me do this done and uh, the next step is that i have to activate the python environment so the next thing we are going to do is copy this go to this and activate the python environment the virtual environment after this has been done the next step is for us to activate it so activate it we are inside the virtual environment and next thing is we need to install all the required libraries i hope all the required libraries are installed once all the required libraries are installed the next thing is finally for you to run the application which we are going to run it locally even though you run it locally uh, your data is actually being connected to the grok website so i mean you are running using grok llm if you want to do this with local llm it will take a lot of time and that is why grok makes a huge difference in this case because it's insanely fast python 3 m streamlet run main.py and um, this technically runs i don't want to give the email id yep and we have uh, the application here so let's go here and uh, let's first try without the api key if it actually works i'm going to just say what what should i say i want um, maybe i should stick to dune dune in the style of harry potter but set in the usa okay click generate if it shows the key is not available then you can enter the key but uh, i guess the key is not available in my case maybe there is a is that the issue so yeah maybe that's the issue i don't know i'm just going to copy it go back here so that i don't deal with that issue paste it and uh, let me refresh this i should generate generating book title and structure in the background and as you can see it has started generating so the key was the issue i think when i ran the key it said bad um, assignment or something so maybe that is something that you need to figure out how to add it to the environment variable but uh, at this point the book generation has been not not been done uh, 9000 10000 is it still going on 10000 i think it stopped at 10000 i guess oh it went 11000 12000 wow 13000 okay harry potter is going to be big the balance of power wow the future of desert okay this is all we created the future of desert okay chapter 15 i'm going to end generation and download the pdf after i download the pdf i've got the pdf with me i'm opening the pdf and we have got the beautiful book of the wizard of shifting sands of arizona and we have got the prophecy and everything not a i have not read dune as a book but um, i think if you have read dune as a book then you know that this is a real deal so after you have done all these things if you are like an idiot like me you have shown your api key on screen during a stream or some session if you don't want uh, your account to be blocked the first thing that you have to do is delete and let me delete the next one that means nobody can use the key even if they have seen the key so congratulations you have successfully created three books in the last 10 minutes and uh, all thanks to the faster the very faster token generation of grok and uh, this open source um, project called grok book see you in another video happy prompting